Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to give a basic tutorial guide for the game Dragon Raja. This um, game is an app that came out a couple of weeks ago now, has been incredibly well received. So to give you a basic introduction into what Dragon Raja is, it's a free to play app. Obviously apps these days have been app purchases, but it is free to play, you can download it for free. It's made in the Unreal Engine, the soundtrack is absolutely amazing, and so on. It really pushes the um, the standard a lot higher for uh, mobile app games. I have made videos already talking about how to play this on PC using an emulator and how to uh, uh, attach your account so you can log in with multiple platforms and so on. Doing that allows you to, for example, I can jump between playing it on my PC and playing it on my phone whenever I want. So I have a separate video of that, links are in the description. So let me give you the basic rundown of how an app or an RPG works generally. So this is the character I've been uh, playing on and off. Now, as with any um, app game, there's a lot of elements that you'll see on the screen, which are synonymous with apps. So you have to be bold, but also cautious. Please don't die. Okay. So you get these all random messages. Now. With this game, and with any, like I said, any typical RPG, there is a main story mode, and then there's a bunch of side quests. Now, I did already show in my Dragon Rush on PC video how to set up keyboard controls, um, if you decide to play it on an emulator rather than on um, a mobile or tablet. So, you can refer to that video if you want to set it up with keyboard controls. Now, um, in this app, uh, to get your attention towards things to do, you have these um, red dots. So the red dots are obviously alerts to say there's something new here for you to do. So for example, bonus. Um, most apps these days have got some sort of daily login bonus um, or sign in bonus for logging in each day or something like that. So that's typical of um, apps these days. So what I do generally when I'm playing a game like this is I'm going after the red dots. Okay. Now, also as well, because it's an RPG, there is a story to behold, and you can pay attention. And there's also voice acting, even though this is just an app. So, like, it's been very, very well made. Um, so, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. So the premise of this game is simply, you are in this um, university, but you are sent around the world to help with uh, different things, which is it's almost typical of, like, any RPG, like Final Fantasy or whatever. Now, you also get these motorbikes, so at any time um, I can click ride and I can go around, but you get this little bit later into the game. Now, when you're doing any quest in the game, by clicking on the quest list, it will take you to the next event. But in order for me to carry on the story, for example, I have to reach level 60 and I'm level 58 at the moment. So when you reach those sort of points in the game where you can't really do anything and we can't carry on the main story unless you uh, level up some more then you can do events now events in the game completely random they, they have you do different things answer questions pick up random items around the game defeat monsters whatever there's a whole bunch of different ones and but it does have here it says recommended it says which ones are recommended for you so let me, for example, do this Devil Awake. So if I join it, by clicking that, it will take me straight to the NPC in order to join the event. Okay, so let's do Devil Awake. I joined the team. Now, the good thing as well with a lot of um, mobile app RPGs is that you can set combat to be automatic. So um, rather than having to do it manually, but by clicking that, it's automatic. But for the sake of it, I'm going to do what I need to do, like manually. There you go. So by clicking automatic, it does save you. You have the option to switch this off and control it manually if you wish. Um, but the reason why they add this sort of thing in is because they know that on mobile phones, sometimes it can be difficult to control what you're doing, basically. So, so we put the volume of the game a little bit down. Now, so as you can see, I'm going through and I'm doing this um, event. 
and it will help me to level up. As you level up, again, with any typical RPG, you get rewards, you level up, you get gear, and stuff like that. But the difference in gameplay, like when you compare it, for example, to other mobile apps, like um, Lineage um, 2, it's a typical thing. So you click the quest and it will just do it for you. Now, at any time, you can move around, even if automatic combat is on. So the general thing, what you want to accomplish in this game is you want to finish the main story. That is the primary goal of what you're doing. And at the moment, I can't finish the main story because I am I need to be level level 60. So you see, even though the combat is automatic, I'm still dodging manually. Okay, so he's he's nearly down. He should be there. Oh, I am perilously low on health. Okay, done. Hurrah. Okay. Now, there are several different classes in the game as well. But you see, the arrows are pointing me in the in the right direction of where I should go. So, yeah. So, basically, guys, I don't know what else to tell you, really. I'll, I'll keep this tutorial very, very basic. Like, follow the quests. Try and anticipate and do what is required of the red dots. And so on. The, the only thing that might cause a little bit of confusion is the fact that you need to um, team up to do some of the events. And sometimes you might be hard to even find a group. But the best way to get around that is to just make a group. So make create a group and then you can join the event and then it will fill rather than waiting to join another one. Because you, if you queue up and wait to join, it you might be waiting a long time. It's better to just hit create group rather than join. Um, but other than that, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Like, go through this, go through the story, take in the world, try and make sure you keep your gear up to date. And, um, like, just with any RPG as well, you get the most value out of it by um, and actually anticipating and taking part in the story. Watch the cutscenes, pay attention to the world. Dragon Raja is actually based on books, um, which I did cover in my What is Dragon Raja video. So I am going to link in the description as many useful resources as possible. Um, if you know of other good resources for this game, please let me know in those comments down below and I'll be sure to add it to the description. Have you been playing Dragon Raja? Are you, are you loving it as much as me? Um, like, tell me everything, guys. Let's keep this conversation going. So, yeah. Now, the good thing is, there isn't that big of a, a, um, a steep learning curve for a game like this compared to other apps I've played. Thank God. So, it's just... Most of the time, you just get into the combat and you just get on with it. Now, there is actual street racing in the game. So, um, which is fun. You do get the vehicle. Like, you saw the car in the... Um, in the intro you actually can get that eventually and you can drive it around as well so but it, that comes later that comes on like level 70 plus i think so but levels go by really really quickly so at, at some point you might feel like you're getting a level every time you do a quest so yeah now of course if you're in a group to do these things um things go by a lot easier and also as well um you get bonus exp for being in a group but it doesn't stop you from just doing it alone if you want to go completely alone with this. So most of the time, this is what I do. I simply dodge when I need to dodge and I um, let it auto combat. I just take in the world. It's a nice distraction and so on. Okay, sorry, I'm going the wrong, wrong way. So this way. Now, you, you don't always... It's not automatic autopilot on everything you do. Like, sometimes it will... Okay. So something is going on. Let me put auto combat on. You don't automatically get from place to place in every single mission. Sometimes you have to just find them yourself. Uh oh Big guy. I really like the gunslinger. It's like it's really, really powerful. 
So yeah, so guys, again, like I said, tell me in those comments down below. Have you been playing Dragon Raja? Do you like it? What class are you playing? Things like that. Is there anything I missed out? And so on. So yeah. And there you go. A nice cherry blossom heart for you right at the end. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave this guy to uh, to be defeated on auto combat. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You're still, you're still here doing like craziness in the background. So um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.